Ucheli and Kakunife. Mr. President, I represent Anambra Central from Anambra State. First of all, Mr. President, let me express my condolences to my brother for the loss of the uh, people from his senatorial district. Mr. President, let me text in it to the sixth line in this motion. It says that the Senate notes with sympathy that these dastardly acts are being perpetrated against innocent persons of Benue South. Despite several peace agreements to accords entered into by the parties, this shows that this is an internal problem. Mr. President, every day we come to the floor of this Senate, we observe one minute silence for people that died either by Hessmen, farmers clash, or by armed robbers, or by kidnappers, or any other security threat. Mr. President, in as much as we propose for the Conference on Security Summit, I want to state categorically that time has come when we think Mr. President should address this nation when it comes to security. Security threat is becoming everyday occurrence. We know what happened in Abuja yesterday. That happened between the National Assembly, the Executive, and Judiciary. It's already in, inside our house. Are we going to continue like this? Mr. President, you can't travel from Abuja to Kaduna without seeing armed robbers attacking people. From Lagos to Ori, the same. From Abuja to Kogi, everywhere in this country is not safe. Mr. President, it is the same venue that last year, be two years ago, that Reverend Fathers were slaughtered inside the church, a sacred place. If somebody could enter a church to kill a Reverend Father, what would that person not do? Mr. President, security is getting out of hand. And the most important aspect of it is that we have succeeded in sectionalizing the security threats in our country. When it happens in Lagos, people will divert it. It happens in Anambra, people will divert it to another section. We have sectionalized it to the extent that it has eroded us the objectivity of critically analyzing the security issues in this country to proper solutions. How are we going to start? If the people we are representing do not have confidence anymore in leadership to secure their lives. What are we going to do? I thank God that we have a senior president today that is responsible, that can respond to the needs of this country. Mr. President, so much is being expected from you and this rich chambers. We must be able to provide security for our citizens. We must be able to be seen as leaders who care for their constituents. And in doing that, Mr. President, we also have to use the National Orientation Agency, an agency of this government that is quite important, but we are not looking that side, to educate the citizens. We, the citizens have civic responsibility of reporting the happenings around their environment. We, the, these armed robbers, they come from our environment, they socialize with us, either in the church or mosque, or in the market or social gathering. People should be able to be educated, to come up with information, we have about 200 million Nigerians with about 500,000 uh, security people, personnel. How many, how, where we, we, are they going to be everywhere at the same time? The answer is no. Citizens must help them to do their work by reporting the incident or activities around them. The time has come when we need to have uh, information boxes in mosques, in churches, in supermarkets, in some critical areas so that citizens can come and drop information they have inside those boxes for them to bring them out and analyze and be able to help to get information about those threatening our lives. Mr. President, why thank you for giving me the opportunity to aim my, you know, to put up comments on this. I want to please, please, that time has come when the leadership of this nation must address Nigerian security issues our citizens are beginning to lose confidence in government to protect them and protect their properties. Thank you, Mr. President.